The children with bow legs and knock knees, it's pretty obvious when you see them uh, how they walk, that they cannot walk uh, very well and they cannot run. Uh, some of them are ashamed to go to school uh, because they look different and uh, they get mocked. In Europe or in the developed world, uh, they are treated very early, so they usually don't require surgery. But here they are recognized very late and appropriate treatment is not available. So they develop into extreme forms which you wouldn't see in uh, Europe or America. able to use a very simple operation actually to put those legs straight and uh, then put them in a plaster and when they heal hopefully their legs are completely straight and after some weeks of physiotherapy they will be able to walk properly again and run again play football and do all the things that they couldn't really do before so it is a dramatic uh, change in their life Most of the patients that I talk to is that they have no dream or they have no hope. But after surgery, there is hope in their mind. There is dreams that are supposed to be realized. This is the exciting part. This is her leaving the hospital. Almost like the first step in the future. Once back in their village or their home, they can be proud of themselves or part of it. This man can run away. Right, check out the photo. Now, when they look at the photo, they just. I'm not a combatant. So when I come here, I'm not a kaki, a kaki. But I don't mean I'm not a kaki. I'm not a kaki. I'm not a kaki. Thank you.